Good morning, Tube View, YouTube, even. Uh, it's a lovely day, as you can see. Look, it's uh, raining. And welcome to my very messy garage, or garage, as we like to call it. Um, yesterday, I fitted this here ball bar on the front of my Connect camper. So today, I thought, because, you know, we've got the black thingy here, I thought i uh, black eye the headlights. So... I'm going to show you how to do that. Um. There's some sidebars. I'll leave these guys here. I'll leave a link in the description. I think that will look pretty cool with black eye headlights. I might tint them as well. I've got some tint fill. Um, I'll do the bonnet in black as well. So, first step, removing the headlights. Right, so the hood or bonnet is up. Um, so, the first thing I need to do to get the headlights out is you've got an 8mm bolt here, and there's an 8mm bolt underneath the bumper here. Um, now, that's pretty flexible, so I am going to use some cardboard. And so I don't damage the bumper. Right there. Right, so that is the headlight out of the van. So now we're going to take it apart. So you've got some clips here and here. It's going to need a damn good clean. And then there's a couple of clips at the bottom here. And what we need to do is get the heat gun and heat the seal around to liberate it. All right, I'll try and do this without getting in the way. But I've just got a screwdriver that I'm going to break those bits. Not intentionally, but they do break. And on every set of headlights, I'm in a black eye. Just liberating those. Now a heat gun. I'm just going to gently heat around the edges. So we'll probably take the goes and you've got to be careful obviously not to melt anything so that'll be stupid so I'm just gonna work my way around first time it's not going crazy because you can smell the heat already the damn thing apart.
let's try this corner here and see if we want to break the seal or anything. Not yet, more heating is required. I will come back after heating. Right, so that should be the lens liberated from the cluster. So that can go and be uh, polished. Excuse the blood. So the next thing is this is what I'm painting. So we need to work out how to take that apart. And it only appears to be held in. with a bowl. So I'll be leaving that chrome. And we will only be painting in this part. So let's put some parts in a nice place. And then we can get on with painting it. So I'm just going to use some acid etch primer and then I'm spraying it in matte black. So I might give it a quick scuff over with some wet and dry paper or some steel wool, just to give it a bit of a key, then we'll give it a paint, put it back together, do the other side. Right, so I've just got some uh, steel wool, I'm just going to give it a quick going over, just to give it a bit of a key, before the primer goes down. And I'll give it a quick wipe over, do some degreaser. Just to key it, just so the primer sticks nicely. You can use wet and dry or a stock bright, whatever you happen to have. I'll be back after I've finished uh, sanding that. Right, I'll give that a wipe down, so I'm just going to use some Tetrasol Acid Etch Primer and some Autotech Matte Black, so you're going to give this a good shake. The can's been warmed indoors, not in the garage, so it should be okay. And I've put the, uh, put the light cluster thingy on a Lazy Gary, uh, Lazy Susan. There we go, that's now the ball shake. So I'm going to check that for a couple of minutes. And I'll be right back so you can watch me spray. Oh, the noise in the background is the mining rig, by the way. I'll do another video on that one day, maybe, if mining is still available. But I'm going to shake this for a bit longer, and I'll see you right back. Right, so I've shaken the can, we are bloody hurt, so I'm just going to give it a, a dusting of the primer. Just a very light coat to start with. You don't have to use after that, you could probably use just normal plastic primer, which will suffice. I'm going to give it a couple of coats. Just so we get a good bond. Leave it dry some 10-15 minutes between each coat. And then we'll be good to go. Lay down a couple of coats in the black, leave that to dry. As they're on the inside, I'm not going to bother rubbing them down to smooth out the paint. I don't see that being particularly necessary. Right, so let's leave that coat to dry. Right, so I am. That's the first coat down. Uh, I did hit it with the heat gun just to speed up the drying time a little bit, so I was giving it a second coat. 
just to get any of it that we might have missed. Before we lay down our breath. You don't go too heavy because you don't want runs. Nobody wants the runs. giving it a nice light right dusting. Making sure I don't touch it on the lazy Gary. Alright. And then what I then do is just with the heat gun, just give it a from a distance. Just a bit of a blast. Just to evaporate the solvent out of the tank. Of course I'm wearing a respirator and uh, you know, that malarkey. Put that over in there. Alright, and I think I'll be back with the uh, black so I'm gonna give that an hour or so to dry off and I'll let that paint it black as they say. Right we're back with the uh, the black has been about half an hour or so just give it a bit of quick spray and I'm gonna slightly dust it over with our matte black. So hit the edges first not looking for total coverage, but just enough. Give it a first coat. Then go get the bottom. because you'll uh, melt your lenses. This evaporates off the... Uh... Probably give this about three coats. Just to be sure, make sure I haven't missed any of the awkward areas. Like there. So what makes you figure out? with a gun just to dry that layer off a bit.
Also, with it being warm, will dry the paint a bit quicker as well. So we'll give it one more coat, leave it to dry for a few hours. Then we can crack on with reassembly. And the other side. Right. We'll leave that now. As you can see, this is now black. I don't know why my right up here is not working. But it is now black. The blue bit there is from the light that's up there, which is no longer working for some reason. But yeah, we're going to leave that for a couple of hours. Then we can reassemble it, polish the hell out of it, and I might tint it. You might be wondering, how am I going to know when the paint's dry? Well, because I've got overspray and stuff on, the lazy Gary. When that's no longer tacky, the headlight technically should be dry. So it's not tacky now, it has, that is just over, so there's a little bit tacky here. So I'm just going to leave that for a few hours. Let's see how it goes. Oh, and today's video sponsor is no one, but if Red Bull wants to sponsor me, then that'd be good. We'll bring loads of this. that color. There we go. So that's what it's going to look like. You can see the headlights are absolutely filthy. Um, I've got a polishing kit. So I'm going to polish the headlights after I've resealed them. I'm going to heat the glue up again with the air gun, seal, stick them back in, and then seal around the edge with some. Uh, I've lost it. Uh, probably silicon. I've got silicon up there. But yeah, three them back together, reseal them, polish the crap out of them, and we'll stick it on the van and see what it looks like. Right, so I've just got one of these 3M uh, headlight restoration kits, so I'm just going to give them a quick go over to see if we can uh, brighten up the headlights. I'm doing them by hand at the moment and I'll probably polish them with the drill half that. So we'll see what these uh, come out like. I'm just using some glass cleaner instead of water. Making sure I keep everything wet. These are like in quite poor condition, so I might be getting some new ones. Bring it here, you can feel it. It's like a smooth around there and there. And there. right there is where it seems to be the, uh, the roughest. So I'm just using the gorgeous grit at the moment and I'll work down in grits and I might give them a coat in some two-pack lacquer. That's stuff on there now. That is really stuff. There we go. That's called friction and suction, my friends. Right. Anyway, I will carry on with this and I will show you the result after. So that's the passenger side done. And I've uh, given them a sand and a polish and then I've used some uh, 2KHS clear on both. So now we've got to wait for these to dry. I'll hit them with the air gun, the heat gun, to uh, dry them off. We probably could have done with some more sanding and polishing, but it's good enough for the time being. I think I will try and purchase some new headlights and black eye those. 
All right, so we have black eyes. We'll just check to make sure bulbs and everything work. And they're done, and I'll get you some close-ups. So we've got sides and indicators. We have main beam. We have high beam. Now we have fogs. Looks good to me. It rained. I think that looks pretty cool, don't you? It's a plane going over. Like comments.